Uh, hi there, my name is Mehdi Pritchard. I'm a 24-year-old comedian from Hobart, Tasmania. It's a really good comedy scene in Tasmania. It's kind of just that right size where everyone knows each other, everyone's really supportive of each other. I don't think I would have kept doing comedy without it. My style of comedy is as deep as I can get it with still being funny. He's a web developer who is also creating his own board game from Hobart, Mehdi Pritchard! Hey guys, how are you going? Uh, so my name, my name's Mehdi, it's spelled M-A-E-D-I. It's a, it's a made up name. I actually, I actually wasn't named for a year and my parents used to run a bakery and I was just this little baby in their bakery and customers would come in and say, hey matey to me. So they kind of got matey from that. So it's a very Australian name. My older brother's name was Meat Pie. Uh, <laughs> my parents, they closed down their bakery a couple of years ago, but it was a very successful homemade style bakery. And people are still talking about my parents' business years after it closed, saying things like, your bread was amazing. Your pastries were so good. Where's my super? You've defaulted on your loan. Um, people still care, and it's great. Um, so Justin Bieber's really popular now, he's as big as ever, but he gets a lot of negativity for his terrible pop songs and his terrible personality. But did you know that Justin Bieber's songs, they actually carry a deeper meaning? For example, his hit song, Baby, 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 ooh, baby. Well, that's actually about China's one-child policy. <laughs> Except, unfortunately, in China, it's still such a sore issue. They've censored the song, so now it just goes, Baby. Ooh. OK. Uh, thanks. I'd like to talk for a bit about relationships. I don't understand all these people having one-night stands. I think sex actually gets better the second time you do it with the same person. I think people should be having two night stands. I, I think it should be law that when two people come together for promiscuous sex, that they have to do it again a second time round, even if they're not really that into each other. I mean, we all have off days. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to help people. Someone pointed out to me the other day that my girlfriend is Asian, and I didn't realise this. I, I, I didn't realise this until they pointed it out. I said to my girlfriend the other day, I didn't realize you were Chinese. I don't see race. I thought you were a black man. <laughs> Did you know that they use fluoride to dumb us down? And that makes us dumb enough to believe in the conspiracy theory that they use fluoride to dumb us down. <laughs> So I feel, uh, I feel poetry is making a real comeback. I feel people have rediscovered the elegance of the spoken word. And uh, you know, even surfer dudes. Just last year, world number two surfer Mick Fanning was attacked by a shark. And he, he punched this shark and he got away and he's fine. But his response to the interviewer took poetry to a new level, I felt. And I'd just like to read his poem for you now. I was just sitting there. I was just like, about to like just start moving. And then I felt something grab. Like got stuck in my leg right. And like I instantly jumped. Like away. And like it just kept coming at my board. Like kicking and screaming. Seven similes, so potent. Uh, I, I can't, I can't begin to deconstruct it, but uh, I think it's about the human condition's need to be forever moving in and out of relationships, both physically and emotionally, with sharks. Thank you. Lady Pritchard! I always, you know, I always worry about my delivery. Uh, I think that's, it's always an art. I'll, I'll never get it right. I think you always second guess yourself, even while you're performing, and that can be a bad thing sometimes too. But uh, yeah, I think it went okay. People were laughing, so.